Hello everyone, and how's it going? Ether Song here, and we're going to be doing a short stream today. We're going to be looking at the character creator song and talking about the game as I make some characters. So let us get started. I have a character I made here dancing currently. Would have been cool if they had some like uh places in town where you could like view the character. I guess they had the party viewer, but So how's it going for everyone? I just keep la just keeps laughing. <laughs> keeps repeating it, I guess. Alright. So should we make some other characters? Has everyone else tried downloading the character creator, testing it out? So I got one character here and I'm gonna be making some more, so I don't know, maybe I'll try to fill out this roster here. I want to make another female character to get started. So we'll move on. And if anyone has any questions about the game and whatnot while I'm doing this, yeah, just feel free to ask. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty casual, casual stream as I go through this. <laughs> Did want to try making like one of the the smaller girl characters. You should probably make them r really small, can't you? Does it like compare in size to like the largest? Is it like half their size? <laughs> Maybe not half, but quite a bit smaller, isn't it? Let's see, it's up to this top area with that. How is this character? Yeah, maybe like two thirds their size. Hello, Dogs King. How's it going? Is that like Doge? How's that pronounced again? <laughs> yeah, waifu creation. You need to make the roster of waifus to get started. <laughs> and then I need to choose one at the end. So yeah, let's keep moving on. How about with the size? I can always edit later, so it's not really that big of a deal this and then they got the physics I'll just kind of stick with this for now i guess there are like the presets for like the smaller characters as well but yeah i'll be editing things anyways so yeah let's keep moving i don't know what i want to do for this character I wanted to make one character that kind of looks like a vampire or something. It had like red eyes. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be this character or not, but maybe I'll start. See how the red eyes look. Let's get all the settings. I like odd eye for some characters, but <laughs> probably don't need it for this. The physics, yeah, the physics. You can see the physics. For these eye colors, there's... <laughs> Was that there's four different parts to it, and you can see the difference a lot more depending on like the type of the eye. Like I think this first color is like the the pupil color, so it's like the inner part, right? And with like some eyes, you just like can't really tell at all, or like can't really tell as much what like that's adjusting but it looks like it's like kind of I think the, the pupil color there and also like kind of outer bit as well I don't really know it's like kind of like this upper area as well <laughs> as the pupil there 
How am I liking the character creation so far? Uh, I've been enjoying it. It does feel like it could use some more options. Like, what do you have? Like, with, like, the faces, you only have kind of, like, three different choices. And they're also kind of linked to body size, so that can even be, I guess, more limiting somewhat. Because I guess if you're a small character, you're limited to this face then. Of course, you can, like, change the nose and eyes and whatnot, which changes the appearance as well, but... I think having a, some more options would be nice. And it seems like it's something that people kind of wanted from the past, and they did add some things. But it kind of feels like I wished it would add a little bit more. But I think some of the features are also going to be, you know, like cash shop limited. And maybe it'll be adding just more to the general character creation later as well. Yeah, for like the males, what is it? It's like only like three different beard styles or something. Like mustache, beard, or, or was there only two? I forget. There wasn't too many. Get back to this. Let's see, what was I doing here? I was gonna do like red eyes, but yeah, for like the people color here, it's just I think just having like black black people might be best. I'm not sure. I could do white. That'd be strange. I don't know if that would work with some eye types. <laughs> having the pupil other than like blacks just seems weird for some things. When can we get this character creator in English? I don't know. I would expect they would release it, though. Maybe they'll have, like, one when the closed beta test for, like, America or, like, when Amazon, like, announces the closed beta test in more detail. Maybe they'll have, like, the character creator in English going along with that. Because that would make sense since it's kind of, like, similar for Japan with a network test. As for a exact date, it's kind of hard to say because... Was it? I think it was like this. The first half of this year is when they were planning, but I guess Japan also kind of got pushed back with the network test by about two months or so. Yeah, there is like the language selection, but it doesn't have any selection options currently. So, <laughs> all right. So this is like the inside of the eye. So I was gonna do like a black, not black, uh, or like a red eye. See, making like a vampire kind of character. Maybe I'll change my mind later, but I think I want one character to kind of has like red eyes. Try out. BP German dub one. I don't know. Were they talking about that? I forget. There was like, there was like some article in like in German or something when like they started releasing stuff. I haven't heard anything about Southeast Asia. <laughs> Maybe they're waiting for a publisher for there? I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I mean, having like a language selection drop down, maybe that is for the the global version, because the global is going to be just more than English, right? It's, you're going to have a lot of different languages. So now it would make sense to have a, a language drop down. Probably in preparation for that. Alright, so I got this. What was this? This is the bottom part, so... I don't know what would be good with that. I could have, like, a whitish color. And this is, like, the top, top outline. And yellow's not bad either. Could make it a lighter yellow if I wanted to, I guess. Dropping, like, the saturation. So are going to be more color. I mean, like, more color options for here. I don't know if they're going to have more color options. I guess there is a decent amount of variety, though, having the saturation and, uh, like, brightness dials. That does allow for quite a variety of colors. I think the dyes in the game work similar to this. So, like, when you're... I think it was, like, a dye mixer or something. Or like those kind of things you had like saturation and brightness you could adjust as well 
This is the brightness, and this is like the saturation. I'll just keep it uh, maybe in the center for now. We'll just do that for now. It's for hair color. I always seem to end up going white, white hair. I guess a black hair could work as well with some characters. I could use more variety in my hair colors though. <laughs> it's like black or white. <laughs> oh, the game's not available in a country. Yeah, I guess that's similar for Japan. It says that, but Japan has... Uh, what is it? Bandai Namco is a publisher that's coming out here, but yeah, so I think it's for companies, or not companies, uh, for countries that uh, Amazon's not publishing in, the Steam page will come up if you can't access it. I guess you could always use like a VPN or something to download it for, I guess, wherever, whatever country it comes out in for like Japanese or global version or something. I don't know how much the postponing will affect things totally. I mean, I guess it, it did affect, you know, the, the network test. But I guess one thing that I'm still kind of hopeful about is that I guess while they were, you know, working on fixing the bug, I would think they had other teams still working on other parts of the game as normal. So while certain like uh, areas like tests like network tests and i guess this somewhat of the schedule got kind of like pushed back for japan but development of the game doesn't just like stop for everything so i guess the development still is kind of moving forward so i don't know how big of impact that will be on like the global version global might just maybe still be like on kind of schedule but for the network test, was it after the network test uh, into this month? So probably sometime in April, they're going to have a developer stream doing like a roadmap going forward. So maybe they'll talk about global and that. I don't know. I guess maybe they're leaving things to for global up to Amazon now. But having a roadmap of the Japanese release might give a better idea of how things will go forward with global. Because maybe it'll be like a little bit delayed from Japan. I'm yeah, I guess fluent in Japanese. <laughs> I live I live in Japan. I speak Japanese mostly, <laughs> well, I guess for everything here. So the only time I really end up speaking English is I guess for like online <laughs> or like streaming <laughs> or maybe like phone calls and whatnot. So. I'm just gonna do a two two tone hair color here. I think I want like red at the top maybe, and like white at the bottom, a darker red. Do something like that and it shifts it, or like a patch of red. I could just have like, I don't know. How vampire esque is that? I think the eyes having the yellow is kind of weird. Maybe I'll change that again. Speak German? No, I don't speak German. How long have I been in Japan? Uh, how long have I been here? I don't know how long has it been. Maybe 12 or 13 years. Like the first, the first time I came over was uh, in college. I did a like a study abroad. And then I just kind of been in Japan for the most part since then. Like changing this part just kind of like makes it look weird, doesn't it? <laughs> I 
That just looks strange. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with black black for this. <laughs> Uh, I think I prefer Japan. I mean, that's probably why I'm, yeah, kind of living here. The white color seems cool for the eyes. <laughs> it seems kind of, I don't know. Like, maybe it would work for some things. Kind of have to, like, design the eye around that. Oh, there's also different eye styles. Yeah, I was going to look at that. I was going to go with these slits. Oh, the, the temperature is higher while doing character creation? Does it use more... Does it use more... I don't know, like, resources with character creation? That seems weird. Why would the temperature go higher for the GPU with character creation? Am I going to stream the network test? Yes. Yes, I am. That is the plan. So, yeah, I got my network test. Was it acceptance letter? or whatever it is back in January or before what was it January it's like hey, we're gonna be doing a network test you got in it's like yay and then however months has passed time kind of flies by I don't even remember when they hold, held the closed beta test how many years has it been because it's like corona or like you know like covid time so it's like super <laughs> feels like it's gone by and a a flash. I kind of like it this. And then I don't know where I want the line. I want to see the full character. It kind of looks nice. Now he's come back later, but something like that for the character. Guess that's fine. How good are the jizz jiggle physics? <laughs> I guess we could take a look. You want these are the jiggle physics, so they have the the jiggle button, so you can check the physics in the game. The physics are working. Yes, <laughs> just funny that they added that. It's like. <laughs> We'll just have a jiggle button. <laughs> hey, it's, it's it's a feature of the game. It's it's not me. It's not my fault. What are the other eyes we have here? The eyes are a lot different too for like male and female creation, because the female characters have a lot larger eyes so that has a lot more detail with like the colors and whatnot you can see and then in contrast the noses are super small for the female characters i guess it's just kind of how anime aesthetics are it's like what kind of nose do i want do i want a dot do i want a dot with a little shadow or do I want to align with the shadow? There is no butt slider. <laughs> they did have the bus, bus slider, but no butt. Maybe that'll be added later. Or maybe that's a paid feature. <laughs> They'll add that to the paid beauty salon. <laughs> that'll get people to, to give them money. <laughs> I guess we have some different facial expressions. You can see like mouth size. Just like three different sizes. I think that's like the smallest. I think that's small, medium, and then like large mouth, kind of. But it definitely feels like these kind of areas could use a little bit more, but we did see some in like the, the streams, like the 
there was going to be, was it like shark teeth and like fangs and things like that in the paid shop. So it looks like they're adding, a, I guess some of the options are going to you know, be locked behind a kind of a paid wall for more character creation. What are these? These are eyebrows. What eyebrows do I want? It feels like these areas as well, they could definitely do with adding some more options. They did add the angle. Angry or not angry. It's changed the face to like normal. Okay. The stick in the middle. <laughs> and then I guess there's the color. Is that based on like the main hair color then? What about this? What is that based on? Where are they? Is it just like white to black? Is that kind of how it works? No, I think it's based on the hair color. Let's do like... Oh yeah, I kind of switched there. It's probably because... Gradation. Let's turn off this for a second. Yeah, the gradients is a kind of cool feature. And once again, in like the... The paid beauty salon, they had like another option, it was like a mesh, kind of like, mesh up mix between two different colors. So it's like a different way of kind of like mixing two different colors. That's kind of, yeah, it does kind of look like the eyebrows are just kind of black to white a little bit of color in them i'm not really sure maybe the middle the middle kind of max it matches maybe yeah it looks like the middle kind of mac matches the color okay so if you keep it in the middle it'll ma match what you had i see Can we change gender later? I'm pretty sure you can change the gender. Like once the game releases, it's going to be one of the the paid ticket features. I think it's like, was it they had like a basic uh, beauty salon kind of like pass. And then they had like a premium beauty salon pass. And I think the basic pass is just like these basic features here maybe. If I'm remembering correctly. And then I think the premium one is you can also change genders and also have like the premium additional face options and whatnot added. I don't know about global for importing the character, but for Japan, yes, you'll be able to import the character created here. And I guess if they keep the format the same between regions then you might be able to use it for like global as well i don't know how like glo if there's going to be global changes to characters or whatnot and if that will affect format or like file format or things like that at all like a lot of people are kind of worried about i guess censorship and whatnot for like amazon so like if character clothing it's like well you can't have a skirt that short so we're gonna censor that and that changes like the data or something <laughs> these are the so like for customization features it looks like these are the basic features like when you start the game and then there's going to be paid features as well added on top of this for like additional options for, I guess, more hairstyles, more like eye types, more mouth types, 
There's like shark fang, shark fangs, like vampire fangs, and like different types like mouths and things like that. So, I think these are the basic. This is like the basic features when the game starts. Is what this will be. This will be what is available. All right, let's get back to doing what I was doing. There we go. We go and I don't know. Just like a touch of color. And for skin color, I don't know. I guess if it's a, like a vampire, it'd be more like pale skin. I don't know. You don't like the dual tone implementation? I wish you could like shift the gradient or like this uh, bottom part. Like when you have a split between the two different colors. I wish you could switch this down as well. Like up or down some more. Like adjust where this divide is. I'm just kind of doing whatever right now. <laughs> I'm not really referencing anything. I'll, I'll be making like a, I guess a few different characters of like different kinds of styles. I might make a male character as well. Cause I wanted to see if I can like make interesting male character as well. What do we have for this? These are like the noses. I guess just like dot is fine. I don't know. Yeah. There's not like too much difference between <laughs> these. At least that's what it feels like for like the mouth. For lips. You know, highlights and lipstick. I think I'm fine with that. And then paint. I guess they have. Like this like blush kind of. Minus 10 is a straight line for this. It affects like how much the gradient moves, I guess. It's like full gradient. It's gradient at like the very top to the bottom, I guess. I guess this is just how they like implemented it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a developer. <laughs> They have like scars and whatnot as well, but yeah, it, it definitely feels like it, it could use more options. Like for this as well, there's only like a few different like things to choose from and you can like flip it around, but. Maybe something like that. And then they have the voices, I guess. We have for voices. A nose bandage option? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice. Psycho! <laughs> Hmm, which voice is this? Maybe four for this character? 
They did add more voice options, which is nice. Before, I think they only had like three or something. Maybe they was... I think it was maybe three. I don't know. It's been a while since the first <laughs> closed beta. <laughs> yeah, I think four is good. I think I might have changed, like, chose out of my other character as well. Okay, so that's looking good. The clothing, I guess it doesn't really matter, like, too much. I have two different underwear options currently. For clothing, it's just kind of whichever. Maybe I'll do something like that. Alright, so second character done. We'll do Ether 2. Oh yeah, are, are the underwear options going to be censored on a global? I don't know. I guess that's one of the things people are worried about. Is like those parts of the game being censored. So like I guess like underwear and uh, like short skirts and things like that are those going to be censored in global? I guess one reason that they could be censored is because of uh, rating differences for games. Like Japan might be more lenient on those things for game ratings, but perhaps for like the global version they want to go for like a teen rating or something, and they might have to make changes to do that. I think, yeah, I saw something like on Twitter about it was in like a different language. <laughs> it was like in French or something about the skirts being replaced with shorts. But yeah, I guess that's a possibility of like something that could happen. So let's look at different clothing we have here. It's like armor. And these things are going to be dyeable. I believe these are just like already dyed versions, but like in the game, you'll be able to dye, dye different clothing as well. So these are probably the dyeable parts that are colored right now. So those are just like different versions of the color. Kind of what reminds me of like an archer's armor or something like that. Like a thief or like a rogue or something. But all this stuff is also co cosmetic, so it doesn't really. It's not really limited to the class. You can use it on whichever class. Which I kind of like having all the. Clothing be cosmetic, I think, is for the best. Because that's what all games always end up doing in the end anyways. <laughs> People want to be able to do cosmetics as they want. <laughs> yeah, I also wonder if like the bus slider or something is going to be you know, censored at all for the global version. I guess America can be kind of weird with some things. <laughs> like brutal violence, okay. Breast slider in game, no go. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess there's just these are the main options then. I don't know what this is, is kind of looks similar to starting. So let's go back to this for now. All right, and I guess there's different times of day and different poses. I 
てもいいよね。泣いてもいいよね。Oh, thanks for tuning in, Andrew. Yeah, it's really been. <laughs> I don't know, a blur since like the first video I posted. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of decided to post the closed beta on a whim and kind of been doing YouTube on and off since then. <laughs> but yeah, definitely looking for forward to the final release of the game which i'm hoping is soon i'm hoping it's like after the close beta uh, not the close the network test like so after the network test ends they have their broadcast and it's like the game will be releasing i don't know what it'd be like end of april or something maybe for japan they were originally hoping early spring but that seems to have gone <laughs> by without happening that'd be cool if they had like a really early release date after the network test Definitely love the dancing in the game. <laughs> I love how it auto syncs. You know, it auto syncs with everyone around you. So it's like everyone just ends up dancing and sync in the town. <laughs> All right, so let's go to a next character. Yeah, it definitely feels like we're getting closer to the release with now like actual, <laughs> like a uh, sub, like I don't know, like physical or <laughs> thing download available, <laughs> at least to, like try out making characters and whatnot. And at least for the Japanese version, be able to carry these characters over to the final game is very exciting. Just be able to get my final character ready, maybe by the time the game is released. <laughs> Probably be coming back to this on and off until then. So we aren't allowed to change the physical body types of each class character? What do you mean by change the physical body types? You can like change these sizes. The character and whatnot is like gender and uh, like appearance and whatnot is not linked to the class at all. And you can change the class you can change to any class after you start the game as well. What class will I main? Um, I haven't decided yet. I kind of always fall back to the spellcaster and like the previous like tests and whatnot. It's a spellcaster. It's something I I'm kind of looking forward to, along with I guess the blast archer, but I might want to try out the heavy smasher in the network test as well since it's new. I guess in, in the end, in the end, like once the game releases and whatnot, I'll be, probably be playing all the classes, right? Because <laughs> you're free to switch between classes on the same character. It's just a matter of like what I'm going to start out, like I guess main to start out with, right? <laughs> Which might be maybe Spellcaster. We'll have to see. I don't think it's really hard to play. It's probably more group oriented since you need to keep distance from enemies. 
but I think even solo, like I, I did sol like all solo basically for the closed beta test and I was in Spellcaster and didn't have a problem really. Alright, so I was going to make some kind of character. What do I want to do? I'll make a male character this time. Just be kind of average. You can do a hair jiggle here. You can check the hair physics. Now hairstyles. What is it? Your character's strength? So I guess your character's stats are dependent on... What was it? Your weapon, and then enhance imagine, and battle imagine. Or what was it? Like mystical echoes, or whatever they called them in the global version. So it's not linked to... I guess it's not linked to your clothing at all. I don't know like how much like stats change when you change classes. I forget if like there was a big stat change like when you change classes as well, but yeah, it's also dependent on just like the basically the the equipment you can't see. The enhanced imagine at least is not really visible. The battle imagine, I guess weapon are more prominent since the weapon you hold and the battle imagine you kinda of summon, but Gender locked outfits. Uh, I suspect that maybe there are some. I don't know. I guess. What is it? Is this? I guess there's like a versions differences. I guess it, what you're asking is like, is there going to be like something that's only for female, right? And I I don't know about that yet. Looks like currently they have versions for both. Maybe they'll just keep going forward with that, having versions available for both genders. Go back to this for now. So what do I want to do with this character? do something like that. Hair color. Maybe like a brownish color. I'll figure it out. And there's two-tone color as well. Do I want other color mixed in? Like in this case, the main color is like put on the bottom. Then, right? May not need that though. Maybe just have no two-tone color for this. Is it possible to play the Japanese network test in EU? Um, I guess if you have a VPN and you were accepted into the network test, then yes. Uh, but I guess, was it? They already had the signups for the network test and they already gave out like the, they already had the lottery for it. So if you don't have an account that's able to do it currently, it's going to be difficult I guess get an account that can do that now. Though I would I would expect the global version of the game is gonna be close, right? You can change gear on the fly and change classes easily. Yeah, so what they have is they're gonna, they talked about having gear sets, so you're able to change quickly. And gear is mostly just, it's separated from your appearance, so separated from clothing. So you have the enhance, imagine like I was saying, which is basically like items that have stats on it that are equipped to your character. And then you have your weapon, and then you have the battle imagine as the things that give you stats. And class, 
classes can be changed as long as you're inside of a town and you're able to freely change classes there. Before they had like an NPC you had to talk to, but they got rid of that. I think you just equipped like a weapon of a different class and you switch them. Let's keep moving here. Sure, we'll stick with that for now. Yeah, just look at the eye size difference between the male and female characters here. Like you can barely see the <laughs> eyes compared like to the female characters. That means like I guess the eye colors here. It's harder to see like these finer details. I wonder what you'll be playing once the global and Japan reel are released. I'll yeah, I'll probably be staying on Japanese server. Can you please explain what they said about the gotcha system? Like, there's no actual gotcha, but there's some little aspects that catch. Okay, so. I kind of covered that in like my monetization videos, but what they're doing is they're going to have Gacha was what they what they named their Gacha because Bandai Namco has something called Gacha Pwn, just like Gacha toys. But anyways, yeah, basically they, they're going to have Gacha for some things, but we haven't really learned any details much. I think it's going to be like cosmetic Gacha. And things for that but as for whether you can get the cosmetic things outside the gacha or if you're gonna have like some kind of fallback system or if you like do gacha so many times you can get whatever you want i don't know they haven't released too much details just that it's gonna have some form of form of gacha in the game and you see the skin tones so skin tones here's the skin tones that we have here and you can adjust it between lighter and darker for all these. Well, that's really white. <laughs> wow. It's got like pale, very pale skin. I don't really know what I want to go with. I guess I'll just do that for now. The character UI smooth? You mean like, is the character UI look good or like what UI for like the in game UI? For like when you're playing or what? Or for like this character creation UI? I don't know, maybe that one. Do something like that for now. One of the tones fitted perfectly. <laughs> Which tone? <laughs> Is there like a good tone here? Keep moving on for the moment. And we have here, we got different eyes. That's the kind of like the brightness feature again. You can adjust the angles if you like angry or not angry. It's like sad. I, I just end up keeping it in the center though is anyone has anyone like adjusted the angle when they made their character for the eyes 
for me, I always end up just kind of going into center. <laughs> I feel like if I like make them angry, it just kind of ends up being weird. <laughs> like it's always angry. <laughs> Third one for the right. Okay, I'll go back to the that and then slide the third quarter of the slide something like there we'll keep it there then tell me if that's right there's gonna be a slight delay with the, the broadcast but let me know oh yeah i guess you can always like kind of like mimic different characters and like i guess people like you know and whatnot when making a character that makes sense. Eye types. What do I want for the eye types? Oh, I kind of want to make like a, maybe like a female character that has just kind of like the pupil almost gone. <laughs> Would it be like what what character was it? Like from the one character from like Naruto that has just like the white eyes, or whatever. I think with this character, I'm going to stick with this, though. Oh, third from the end. Third from the end. So I guess this one. Third from the end. And slide to the third quarter of the slide. Is this to the position? Let me know. I'll keep moving on. I ended up, what was it, like... 15,000? With a 2070 Super. And that's slightly above the 1080p, because I, I have a widescreen monitor and it gave me like a weird resolution to use with that. It was, I have a 3,440 by 1440 resolution and it gave me like a weird resolution to fit into that <laughs> and then I have black bars on the side with my widescreen monitor. I'm hoping to add ultra wide support later. For this I think I'm gonna do blue blue eyes and I already have kind of the blue eyes here. Yeah, maybe stick with that for now. There's the eyebrows. I'm not really sure. Maybe that's fine. Just kind of stick around there. Okay. The noses. Maybe just like the standard nose. I don't really know what to do with the mouth either. I just end up going usually with this the the first one. Okay, and these are the the facial hair options, like beard options. You have you have like a small beard, a mustache, or a even smaller beard. So. I think I'm just gonna go with nothing. Definitely feels like they could have at least added like a full beard or something <laughs> as an option. Maybe that's like a paid option or something. Yeah, I I really got a lot of customization. They said that I think it was originally like two different colors, and they ended up going with four different colors you can choose from to mix for the eye. It seems like a lot of anime nowadays uses around four different colors in the eye. At least that, I think they were saying like for yeah, a lot of like anime movies and whatnot and it's like anime characters now have like a bunch of different colors mixed inside the eye. So they're going to mimic that with the eye creation. Lipstick. <laughs> it just really stands out, doesn't it? <laughs> I 
I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick with no lipstick with my character here. And then there's some other options as well. This reminds me of, was it Hisoka? From Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, it was like 20, 70, 50, 11, 100 or something for my ultra wide. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a 1440p. I don't know why it's going to like a weird resolution. And I wish they just would have <laughs> went ahead and supported ultra wide. They, they made like the excuse that, what was it? Like, uh, that people that have like ultra wides, if they supported it, it would give them like unfair advantage or something like that. It's like, advantage at what? It's a PvE game. <laughs> Final Fantasy 14 has it. And it has PvP in it. <laughs> like, what advantage are people going to get from that? Like, even a lot of shooter shooting games that are very competitive have ultra wide support. So it's like, why, why don't you support it? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe there's other reasons that we don't know. <laughs> Kiriko, uh, is it Kiri Kirito? Yeah. Should I make a Kirito character later? I could do that. <laughs> it's gonna be so many. And I think you can have what is it? Names. I think you can have the same name as like other people. I think there's like a number after your name, so you can like have the same name. So it's not like somebody takes a name and you can't have it anymore. I don't even know with like these like face paint things. Like all of them seem kind of weird. I guess this one like maybe for like some things. Maybe some people. Maybe it'd be like nice for some kind of character. How does this look? I want to like kind of jump back to the full character. It's like a, a blue streak. I could just like have one on both side. Try something like that. I'm trying to. I'm starting to get like dark, was it dot hack vibes? <laughs> Thank you. Was it, doesn't the dot, dot hat character have like, it was like triangles or something in his face, like red triangles? Like both sides of the face. Yeah, I guess a lot of, I don't know, like, Japanese developers just kind of, like, avoid it. <laughs> Maybe it's, like, they're not, they don't want to do it. Or I guess a lot of games kind of have difficulties with ultra-wide sometimes. I guess it's just, like, they're still, ultra-wide ultra monitors are still the minority. That they don't, like, feel like going through the effort of development cost of, like, supporting it or something. was I here so yeah what do I want to do with this I guess if I have the blue eyes I don't know would like a blue version of this fit the best then have like one on both sides of the face Second one, I can flip that around, right? Okay, so that's something. It's kind of unique. Maybe a little bit lighter color. When's the release? <laughs> I wish I knew. I wish I could tell you. Um... Sometime soon, I guess. <laughs> after the network test, yeah. So, like, as I keep saying, after the network test, they're going to have another big live stream about their uh, roadmap of updates going forward. And I think we'll be able to get a good idea of how, how when the game will release 
and also how they're going to progress going forward after that. I would expect soon for Japan, so after the network test, I expect by June they're going to have the game released for Japan at least. It's just my expectation, but I'm hoping it's like <laughs> they have the live stream quickly after the network test and like by the end of April it would be nice if the game released, but <laughs> only wishful thinking right now. I don't know, maybe Global will be like a couple months after Japan. I can't really like say, but was Japan Japan originally was aiming for early spring and Global was looking at second half of 2023. So second half of this year. So starting from the beginning there was already maybe a three month gap at least. Maybe more between the two versions. So I don't know, maybe it'll still be three months or so after Japan or something like that. <laughs> so what does the character look like here? Sure, we'll just kind of go with that for now. I don't know. I have difficulty making these characters. Just a little bit darker with the face paint again. And then we'll move on to the next character. This is the brightness, right? Oh, no, this is the saturation. The brightness is down here. Okay. Do something like that, I guess. All right, so I think those are matched. What's the face shapes again? All right, maybe go with that one. And then we get the voices. <laughs> また yeah, for the graphics card. <laughs> probably don't need too high of specs for the game, it looks like. Yeah, probably like like you said, the 1080. Around the 1080 is probably fine. Because I guess once you start going above, like, what is it? They're like 10,000 mark on the, the benchmark score. Probably don't really need much more than that. Bacana. この通り感謝する。いや、それ。もう一度全てをかける。よし。元気でな。見たか。やれ。さあ、終わりだ。全てを守るために。そこだ。じゃあな。うわ、とりゃ、とどめだ。沈め。そういうつもりでは済まん。
Put that like in the center there. I think those are faint. And oh, I didn't change it, did I? Eye color. Eye color. Where's brown? I think I'm like a red color. Something like that, maybe. Let's go with that for now. Red and blue. <laughs> that would be an option too. Kind of go with this for now. Okay, it's looking alright. We had the clothing. This is just my third character. Starting to get a party together. Right. See that in the character viewer. Oh, it is kind of like a cyberpunk character, isn't it? <laughs> Like the face is not <laughs> real. <laughs> Robot face. Get different poses. Go back to this. Not bad. Oh, male clothing. Yeah, let's take a look at it. So, what do we have here? This is like kind of like the armored version of the character. And this one doesn't have a hat. Okay, this one does. This one has a helmet. Only helmet. <laughs> there we go. What poses do we have? It looks pretty cool. Oh, for the armor, you can change clothes. There's a like an outfit change button here, so you can just like try out different outfits. What's the one I was looking at? There we go. This is just like the same. Yeah, I think it's just a color difference. This is kind of like the rogue or like kind of like the lightweight armor. In my mind, it's kind of like a rogue-like appearance, but it's not really linked to classes at all, so. Hopefully, <laughs> Bandai and Amico changes their mind about ultra wide support later. That'd be nice. I would appreciate it. <laughs> it's like, boots are kind of weird. I feel like they're <laughs> kind of strange. Kind of like... It was like this leather part goes over top the boot. What is this? 
What is this exactly? What is this supposed to be? Are these feet or like what are these? <laughs> anyone know? <laughs> is it like some crest? Is it like the Astrolades crest or something? Can you save the appearance of the game? You can export the characters you made here and use them in the Japanese network test and the Japan release of the game. I don't know if it's going to have if these uh, characters created here can be used for the global version as well. Maybe they'll be able to, maybe they won't. Some other clothing here. It's like a raincoat being yellow <laughs> like that. All right. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Definitely appreciate it. All right, so I think that that's just about all of them. All right, that looks like all the, the male clothing options. Oh, this also has kind of like that crest on it. How am I playing? I'm, well, I'm not really playing. It's just a... Uh, benchmark character creator and that's available to download for anyone right now from the Japanese site. I made a video about how to download it. So yeah, I'm just kind of chatting about the game while making characters right now. All right, so we can jump back. I don't know if those like outfit changes apply. Maybe they do. Which one do I want to go with? I kind of like the armor. can't even see the character's face. <laughs> it's like you spend all the time making the character and then you can't see their face. <laughs> we'll take off the helmet for now. I wonder if that gets applied as well. Okay, so that does get applied. That's pretty cool. All right, so time to get back to making more waifus. I did the party viewer. Let's see. Let's take a look at the party viewer for a moment. So we got a few different locations where we can see the characters here. This is what they will look like in game. I'll be streaming the game from time to time after release. Yes, I currently plan to stream the game once it releases as well. I'll probably be playing on Jap Japanese version of the game even after global releases, so I'll be on Japan's server for the long term. There's a cat. Kind of move the characters around. Now, will will Amazon censor this? <laughs> the shirt, the skirt <laughs> is short, so it feels like they might censor that. <laughs> oh, you can also turn off the UI if you press N for people that didn't know. So I can actually turn off the UI for these areas. What other positions are there? I guess I can stand up over there. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Who are you calming down? <laughs> Don't be so angry. You sit over there. 
<laughs> Take a screenshot. <laughs> Well, so yeah, Bandai does have the final say in how the game is developed. So even if like uh, overseas publishers say they want something, the final decision is up to Bandai, whether they do it or not. Now, perhaps because of regional differences for, I would think, like game ratings and whatnot, they may decide to go with censorship or like changes for some things. It's really tough to say currently. over there I guess. Is he crafting? This is the crafting station, right? <laughs> Just constantly clapping. <laughs> For you. You can dance over there. I guess looking at the characters in game like this though gives a better feel how they will actually look in the game. So I guess making the final decision on, on like what character you want to go forward with for the, the final game or like the network test would be a good idea to kind of look at them in the party viewer here. You can always make changes based on how they look here as well. What are scenes were there? There was a die station, right? I don't know what's going on back there. <laughs> Oh, real. So I guess there's already like some changes. I guess the data miners are probably hard at work with the <laughs> this benchmark software. So you have two characters back there being weird. I haven't checked the Reddit post recently, so yeah, maybe I'll take a look at that as well. This is them all looking at the ocean, right? nice picture yeah I like this area because you can really see the change of day so let me like change the t daylight so you have like early morning morning afternoon night or like I guess uh, Evening and then like night, right? Oh yeah, if you have a link, I think you can. I'm not sure if it, can you post links in this chat. I don't know if there's like auto auto modding or something that will happen. You can try posting. Otherwise, I can I can look at the Reddit as well. I don't know if the game similarly with Reddit. Reddit is a blue protocol PC. Oh, I think I see it. Let's see if I can bring it up.
I think you're talking about this post right here. So that does look like a pretty big difference, doesn't it? So for the clothing, yeah. So they're getting rid of all skirts. Skirts must be banned from the U.S. <laughs> That does look like pretty big <laughs> censorship, though. <laughs> I guess it is data mine files. We don't know. Maybe these are like different clothing types that are going to be available in the game. Are these really like Japan or US? I guess that's something we need to consider. Maybe it's just like another clothing type that's going to be added. Or is this really going to be like full on regional differences? I mean, the regional differences is a possibility because they do look pretty similar in clothing, don't they? <laughs> we'll just have everyone play on the the Japanese side, right? <laughs> Japanese servers. So this is like a skirt and like uh, leggings, right? So that seems to get totally removed, maybe? It's just like the leggings are hidden. We'll hide this. Yeah, so I guess all the skirt parts are being removed. Maybe they don't want like any underwear being shown but you can like i don't like i don't one thing i just don't really understand sometimes is can't you like take off clothing of characters in the game anyways like isn't that something you can usually do in like online games you can like take off clothing you can like run around in your underwear if you wanted to So I don't understand like why like underwear or something like showing like that would be as like that big of an issue if like if you could like view it anyways. <laughs> it's like <laughs> is it really an issue in a game? <laughs> but I guess maybe the rating boards have like certain things that they mark up. Like well if you have a skirt that that brings the rating up to uh adults only, right? Yeah, you can, I mean, like I was saying, like, you, you can, like, you remove the clothing. Are you going to remove that from a U.S. version as well? It's like, well, you can't take off clothing. No running around your underwear. But, I mean, that's just, like, a, a thing I think you can do in a lot of online games anyways. So it just seems kind of silly having to make clothing changes like this. If that's what's going to happen. Like, if these are just, like, completely, like, different options, like, both of these options are available in both regions, then it wouldn't really be an issue, but... If they are making like these big changes regionally, that's kind of sad to see. Oh yeah, I guess they might change the underwear as well, right? I mean, at that point then, it's like, isn't it fine then if you have like a skirt or something? I don't really understand. I don't know how censorship exactly works. I don't know if there's like anything. I wish we could have both, but sadly that's never a thing. Honestly, we'll probably just end up with a community-made tool. Like Final Fantasy XIV's text tools that let you reskin or remesh. I could see like reskinning, like changing textures is easier, but completely changing meshes for things I think is a little bit more difficult. I don't know if that's easy in games nowadays or not. Nothing, nothing has confirmed that it won't be both. In Lost Ark, when we were. Going through the old outfits, we received outfits that were normally not available in Korea because they did not have that class. These outfits might be outfits suggested by AGS to be added with the current outfits. I mean, that's what I was kind of thinking. Like, could it be possible that there's going to be both?
Oh, are these child NPC outfits? I mean, if these are like NPC outfits, then it doesn't feel like as big of an issue. I mean, changes being made is still kind of sad, but uh, the main impact is if clothing for your main characters, right? So like the main characters you play get changed. That's, that's the biggest impact. But I could see if it's being like a child NPC character having to make changes to clothing for some regions, maybe it makes sense. Yeah, so I guess there's still a lot of things we don't really know. Like, so yeah, was it if it's NPCs, is, is it really too big of an issue? Maybe not. If they start changing player clothing, then I could see it becoming a bigger issue. And we don't really know if, like, is this really going to take effect or not, or how things are going to turn out. It's a possibility, but we'll just have to wait for more information currently. I think overall on Reddit, though, there's a lot of doomsayers since the beginning, since like Amazon was announced, like everyone is pretty negative on Reddit. So that's always something to be aware of when looking at Reddit posts that Reddit is very negative about lots of things. There's a lot of negativity there. <laughs> I move the character. I need to move the scenes again. Did something like happen. Can I not select you? Okay, now I can move you. I don't know what happened there. forward. This is like the last one is like a tavern or like an inn kind of area. Kind of like this atmosphere. In the game you can also like kind of sit down at these tables as well so I can see people doing that. I don't know role playing or just kind of like chatting with their guild or whatever. I guess not really was it not a guild it's a team. <laughs> they could have just called it a guild. <laughs> I guess they didn't want to go with the guild name or whatever but yeah they get like with your team or your group of friends or whatnot you could sit down at a table and game and chat, which seems like it would be fun. Let's turn off the UI for a second. Yeah, for like Reddit posts and things, it's it's good to be aware of that Reddit is not like the whole community. <laughs> a lot of negative voices there are, are loud, so you're gonna see like a lot of negative posts gain traction for a lot of things. All right, should we try making another character? We still have was it 21 more slots to go right <laughs> not gonna be doing all those tonight though <laughs> what i'm gonna do with maybe like music just got really loud should i turn it down just went into full full blast mode. Let's try turning it down a little bit. There we go. <laughs> okay. Maybe make like a character like yeah, like Hinata from Naruto or something like that. Should we try that? 
I think there was like eyes that were kind of similar that reminded me of that. Let's go with like white eyes. These ones are kind of like that. the eye colors so like this one where is it or am I what am I doing there's a white there there we go so I could like kind of can do it's all kind of white eyes there what do the eyes look like Just like a straight up kind of like a whitish color. And I have like these bluish tints here. I have a little bit of blue tint. You do something like that. That doesn't look too bad. For hairstyle, I guess it'd be something like that, maybe. Got that, and we want it to be a blackish hairstyle. Okay, so far so good. Because everyone made made the character they want to go with for the final release of the game. You decided on a character yet? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm still kind of thinking about what character I want to go with. I don't know if I've decided yet. All right, right. So I think something like this looks all right. Just something kind of like that, and then we'll keep moving forward. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to be playing as a female character. <laughs> for this character creation at least, I think the female characters have like better better options for appearances. The males were pretty limited. Yeah, having more like uh, beard options and things like that would be nice. The the game was it when the game launches, you do have two character slots. So I might have like a secondary character as like a male, like one one female character, and one male character. But like, I guess you don't really really need a secondary character in this game. So I, you kind of end up just using like I think a main character anyways. I think when it comes to like online games though, there's a, a variety of people. You have like people that uh, make characters based on like their own appearance. 
and then you have people that maybe choose characters based on their own gender or you just have people that have like a idea of a character like this character is going to be like this in this world more like kind of like a I don't know like a role playing or like a story kind of approach or like the main character of this story is going to be this like uh this gender of character or something like that So I think a part of it is if you see the character as like a extension of yourself or not as well when choosing gender for characters. So what do I want to do with this character now? So if for the eyes, I think the eyes are, that's probably the best. It's probably the most like hidden. Kind of go with that. Or the face. I don't know if the other face was better. I don't know about this face. I see. This face has like a, a more prominent nose, doesn't it? I feel like I always end up going with one of these like first two options, so. Is the beta supposed to be out today? No. So what we have currently is just the benchmark software with the character creator for the Japanese version of the game. And we're going to receive more information about the Japanese network test sometime at the beginning to middle of this month. And then the network test is going to be at the end of this month. Before the network test, there's going to be another developer live stream talking about what's going to be in the network test for Japan's, uh, for, for Japan's network test. And then after the network test, the Japanese developers are going to be talking about their roadmap of the game going forward. And by before or after developers topic, talking, I'm talking about uh, they're going to be having live streams for those. Anyone can download it. I made a, another video on my channel about how to download and install it and get it running. So if you don't know where to start, you can take a look at the videos on my channel for like how to install the benchmark software. Like, where do I, where did I have it? I had a video somewhere. I can't bring it up. This this one, benchmark character, how to install. That would be the video. Yeah, so you just download it, like un unzip it, install it. And then you're you're ready to go. You can start making characters, and they have like a little demo benchmark, so, uh, benchmark to go with it, where you can have your character you created appear in it. I don't know if I want anything else. I guess I didn't go to the facial color. As for these, I don't really know about any of these. <laughs> this reminds me of like, I don't know, like a, a football player, like a rugby player or something like that. <laughs> This one I, I'm kind of okay with, but 
And this one, I guess, like having them on both sides like I made before could be interesting, but... This one reminds me of Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> That's a pretty, I guess, simple character. Let's go voice two for this one. I think this is a little bit strong. Saido, higher. I guess I'll just do something like that. All right, I think I'm ready to move forward with this character. Sure, this one will be this. What am I up to? Number four. I, I have a word in here that I can't write. Did I write a bad word? <laughs> I don't think I did. Let's try this again. It'll work this time. Maybe I had a character or something in it. Alright, so I got four characters now what will i want to be using having 24 slots seems pretty ridiculous is are some people going to fill up all these slots <laughs> i don't know if i'll do that i guess like trying out like a bunch of different things but i'll, I'll probably just gonna be ending up on like one character in the end oh maybe i had like a uh, like a space or like a special character or something in there Yeah, this character credit is me nice to kind of just pass the time, <laughs> pass the time while uh, waiting for a, a release. Hopefully it releases soon. I don't even know like what other kind of like character I would want to want to make here. I make Kirito. I make like a younger like boy character or something like that. Oh, Jake, was it? Like the guy from the Venture Guild or whatever? <laughs> the Frontiering Station. I can make a, a big, strong tank character. Let's see what we have for that. So I think for these, let's look at the presets. I think there was a big one here. They have like something like that. Sure. Love this as my starting point. Oh, that's no, just all max, right? Okay. As for hairs, what do I want to do for hair? Yeah, I, I it does feel like the hair options are kind of lacking. Like I was saying, I feel like the, the female characters have just a little bit more diversity inside their selections. Like the male character here has like, it's all like short hair, right? 
having like some long hair options and things like that as well could be nice. Maybe I'll go with something like that, maybe. As far as hair color? What do I want to do? What was this one to start? That's kind of a darker color, yeah. Yeah, I guess they do have the option to play, you know, kind of like a, a rougher character like this, which is nice. Been doing good, just kind of making characters while chatting right now. Right now kind of like making like a big like tank like character. I kind of wanted to make like a character, you know, like from Kimetsu no Yaiba, like Demon Blade, where they have like the tips, the tips of their hair are like different colors, but he can't move this line where the the gradation or like the color split. So it's kind of difficult to do that. I thought it would have been kind of cool to like try and make a character like that. It's like all the all the like the characters in that like anime have like the tips of their like hair being like different colors and whatnot. I guess I could try to make a character like Shinobu or something like that. That might that might work with like the the range. Have like blue Hair at the end. Keep moving with this one to start though. Oh yeah, the blue protocols. Yeah, I guess uh, outfits kind of being like separated into different parts is really nice. And then from the sounds of it, they have like seven seven different locations for like accessories or something like that which is like crazy <laughs> if you really think about it so i think they're really going to be going with big on the customization of appearance route and that might be like one of their main ways to monetize the game i i would think having like customizing your character won't being one of the big monetizing factors so like buying new clothes and things like that oh no i reset it what was it wasn't it like Kind of liked where I was to start. I think it was around here. I think it was like that. I think the eyes and whatnot are fine. I don't know about the, the color of this. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I think I'm fine with these as well. I could put it like a scar scar on him doesn't really matter like what side you put it on but yeah I could put it there you could have another scar can you only have like one of these I guess you only can have like one scar can't you choose which scar you want What is it? I think it's going to be like 
one server for a region. I don't know the exact specifics of it yet, but like for like, for example, like Japan, everyone can play with each other. Like you don't really choose a server like with, I don't know, like Final Fantasy 14 or something where you like have to choose, choose a server when you make your character. They're not going to have that. So it's going to be like a mega server. As for the global version, maybe they're going to have like splits between regions for like Europe and America, right? So like global, like the mega server regions or something like that. I would expect they would have something like that. And I don't know, maybe like America has East and West or something like that as well. The character creation, I think overall it's pretty good, but I would definitely like to see more options added, which is like, I guess something they can always do later on. And I know some options are going to be like paid features later. So there's going to be more in like the paid shop. Which is something to be aware of. So probably in the end, even if I like, make a character in here, I'll probably pay money to <laughs> customize my character more in game, anyways. But I think for like starting out, it has a good good base for their customization and just adding more things to it as the time goes on should be good. All right, so I think this is fine for the most part. And I'm, I don't know if there's any like paint I really want on this character. I don't know about this. What is this thing? I guess I could do something like that. Put something underneath his eye. Okay. And for voices, I think the last voice fits this the best. <laughs> And for clothing, I could put a shirt on him. <laughs> the default just has, like, no shirt. I guess that's, like, options, right? You can have, like, no shirt if you want as, like, your default. Was it something like this is what he had? Yeah, I guess that would work. We could keep him like that. <laughs> I'll we'll just keep them with like kind of the default like appearance. All right, so I've made it this far. What do I want to do? One more character. One last female character. I don't really know what I want to do though. Probably decide from the hairstyle. Yeah, it definitely feels yeah like there's a lot more variation here compared to the males with like the hairstyles and whatnot. Maybe it's just me, but it feels like there is. What's this one? One thing that bugs me a little bit when make, choosing like the hairstyles is like you have the, the hairstyles here, but you need to kind of like go back to rotate. So it's kind of like cool, I guess, aesthetically having <laughs> this like this, but in practicality, being able to rotate the character and examine it more in depth might be nice. <laughs> Cause it's kind of hard to see like all the different angles just from like there are three different fixed angles they have there. Oh, the censorship leak. I don't really know. I feel like we don't have enough information yet. 
I mean, I haven't really looked into all the details about it. So now, yeah, like, we have this image that appeared on Reddit. And evidently, it's for, like, NPCs, so maybe it's, like, only NPCs getting changed or... Or not, I don't know. It's like, we don't have enough information, I just say, definitively yet. We'll have to probably wait and see for more information. So what hairstyle is good? So this one, I guess it's kind of tied up in the back. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll go with this one then. And we'll do two-tone color. And I have a... do kind of base this on like shinobu and this being more black seems fine I think it's like is it around the right color Oh yeah, having more face options as well. It's only like three different faces and they're also linked to body sizes. Having more face options would be nice. Even if you can like kind of make fine adjustments here. Where's my facial appearances? There we go. Look at the fine, fine colors here. For blue. I think for like the back. What do I want? I'm trying to decide. Can I have a bigger part underneath? Oh wow, there's like lots of different options, aren't there? Like how the highlights affect the eye. There seems to be a lot of variations here. Like where the different colors get applied. I'm fine with the black at the bottom. And then I want, yeah, the blue eyes. I think I maybe want this pupil kind of be blue as well. Almost like make it disappear. So this is kind of like a cool eye style as well. If you're going to change like the people color, kind of have it blend in with the rest of the eye. Because when it stands out, it can get kind of weird, but I think when it blends in, it's pretty cool. And then what, do I, what else I want to do here? That's looking to be all right. Yeah, that's fine. Or at least, what is it? Yeah, I think they, they announced that they're going to have it on the like the PlayStation 5 and whatever Xbox it is currently. Was it the XS series? I, I'm not, I haven't kept up to date on Xboxes. <laughs> Pretty sure they said it's going to be coming on those. But they hadn't this, they hadn't said if there's going to be, what is it, like cross saves or something? So like you could like play the same character on vers versions or whatnot. Something about that. They... It, hadn't finalized yet but they were like looking into so 
What about these eyebrows? Let's have a line. Can we look at different expressions then? Okay. Looks all right. What does the character look like in full then? Having more options here too would be nice. For lip, I don't know. Maybe like slightly. A very small touch. I'll try adding that. That looks fine. And I don't, don't know what character is best. What voice is good? We'll just go three. The pink? Yeah, the pink. I think, what, is, what color did I choose? Oh, there's a pink. There we go. Can I have a highlight? I guess I'll turn the highlight on as well. Very small accent. I guess I'll just go with that for now. So it looks alright. So that's kind of like what you can do with having a more clear cut gradation and having the eyes kind of match the hair with that. I think that's like the sixth character now. Maybe take a look at everything then all together. Put them all together and see how they look. Oh, I ended up choosing, like, these three all had, like, the same. The one guy with his shirt off. <laughs> one person actually chose, like, armor for. I guess I could have changed the clothing. Maybe I'll go back a second. I'll change the clothing real quick on the, the character I made last. I think there might be some, like, different clothing options. I guess I can change from here as well, can I? Is there a good option? It's kind of cool. And then for this character. Let me go with that one. All right, so let's take a look at that then. All right, so now we have a little bit more variety with the characters. I like the nighttime. I'm gonna do a nighttime here. I like the. It's kind of like the street lamps. How everything looks at like at night in the city. Just angry at the cat. <laughs> this dude trying to cal calm everyone down. <laughs> and the one person just like, like spending time with the cat. <laughs> this guy's just like not taking any of this in. <laughs> yeah, the cat's just annoying. Just like real cats. I 
these two are in sync. <laughs> I don't know what's happening back there. <laughs> Probably this like shop person's like troubled. They're like, what is everyone doing? We got crazy people back here. A guy without a shirt on at a dye shop. And I guess two people talking normally over here. <laughs> and then everyone lined up. I always like this one. Being able to see the, like the sun move around, I think is kind of cool in this area. Looks like there's a moon that kind of goes down, and then the sun comes up as well. In the future, I for a network test, you're going to need a VPN if you got into it. For the final release, I'm not sure. If you don't need a VPN, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be trying it out from overseas. <laughs> I, I love the city at night when it, in the closed beta I, <laughs> I spent a lot of time just like kind of like running around the city and there's a lot of different like little like uh small alleyways and like nooks and crannies crannies to explore and then they have like the street lamps and whatnot kind of lighting up and giving it a good atmosphere at night and then you have little shops and whatnot you can enter that have like chairs and things you can sit down so i'm sure a lot of people are gonna just you know have like fun like going around with their friends, just exploring the city. Oh, and yeah, one thing to note, if people didn't know, you can press N, N on your keyboard to remove the UI so you can take better screenshots. And after you remove it, you press, uh, I think, insert button on your keyboard is the default screenshot button. Let me get the final location here. I don't, I don't really think the time of day affects things too much here. Let's kind of make it noon. I guess a little bit of how the light enters the, the shop or here. I like the, the tavern kind of area. Just one character just kind of just standing there. <laughs> I think there's like invisible walls, like so there's some there's somewhat of a limit to how far you can go. But you can swim around somewhat. I'll try switching these characters. I think this like kinda hairstyle with the eyes is pretty cool though. You could try out like different variations with like different colors. Could be an interesting way to make a character. I had this character. I made two different eye colors. I did the odd eye, or like a two different color, or one color for each eye, which was I like doing sometimes. Oh yeah, I wanted to add housing. I think that would be something that a lot of people would like to see. I think it what was it they were like talking about like you know new life what was the lifestyle features or whatever they were saying and they have it seems like a number of them planned but they're all kind of linked together so that's why they released the fishing first because in the end it's going to link back to them and by that I guess fish are going to be used maybe for like cooking or something like that I mean that's the first thing that would come to mind you know like cooking and things like that 
but it seems like they have some like things planned and maybe part of that would be like housing i mean they kind of like talked about it in the past it would be really nice to see like those like housing options kind of added they had like uh your own kind of like house where you could like place furniture and things like that and maybe invite like friends and whatnot in that'd be really really cool to see and i think a lot of people would have fun like decorating the house and like spending time in there yeah fishing is the real game who cares about the story when you can fish you need to catch all the fish <laughs> oh yeah, I guess aquariums, are, you could do stuff like that, couldn't you? Yeah, it'd be kind of neat to see how they would implement like a housing kind of thing in the protocol. Yeah, I'd like to see him kind of just go with kind of, you know, like... The chill, chill kind of aspects of the game where you can just kind of like hang out with friends. You don't really need to be fighting all the time. You can just kind of like take it easy, log in and just like hang out like a game just kind of like that. I think would appeal to a lot of people sort of like more kind of like casual aspects of the game, I think would appeal to a lot of people. They're going to have a team system. That's basically like their guild thing, but it's mostly just like a a group chat kind of feature at the beginning, they said, where you can have members and you can all talk in like the same chat. So it's not going to have any like big, I don't know, like features associated with it yet. Maybe it'll add more later. Yeah, I never tried the island stuff. I I only played like some of the demo of Final Fantasy XIV, right? So I guess a little ways through like the main main story. But yeah, I know like that island sanctuary or whatever in Final Fantasy XIV is really popular. See, I I think like things like that, just like the popular. I mean, just like a kind of casual kind of aspects of game can I feel like can really take off. So I think a lot of the people that uh, play games like this are just kind of looking for interaction or just like a way to like kind of wind down, <laughs> take a breather from real life. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with like a team yet. If I'm going to like join some some team I find online or just make my own or do whatever like maybe I'll like find a Japanese team or something as well what we'll to see now all, all they had to do with, with this demo is add ability to log in with your character and play the game and it would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah, I hope they have a good balance between uh, free to play and pay to cosmetic or whatever. Have ways to get a lot of things without paying as well. I think he's like excited because he like crafted something well or something. <laughs> and she's like, you're doing a good job. Nice, nice. <laughs> Just kind of humoring him or something. <laughs> Kind 
and such a characters around. So I guess for this month, the, the main things going forward is just uh, more information about when the network test is going to be. And like they said, it's going to be early, early to mid this month. So I guess within like the next week or so, you're going to give us some more information about when the network test is going to be. Yeah, I tried Fantasy Star Online New Genesis as well, and the action elements were fun, but yeah, I did feel kind of let down with it. It didn't really pull me in too much. And I know, like, Genshin's really popular, but I feel like Genshin's gone... I mean, it's a gotcha game, so it just it everything focuses on how it can get players to gamble in it, which is something I, I want to avoid. So I don't really play that. So I, Blue Protocol looks like the best like kind of option for like a anime like online game. And it does se seem like they're gonna be focusing on like player interaction going forward because you know you had like the was it the hand holding emote where players are able to hold hands together which was something like really interesting to see like I, I don't think I've seen any other game that had something like that in it so Yeah, I'll be planning to keep on releasing more Blue Protocol content going forward. Definitely excited as we get closer and closer to release. <laughs> We'd like to hope that release is soon. Hopefully they'll give us a date. I'll probably be playing the game a lot once it comes out. Just kind of using it as a game to just kind of relax in. <laughs> Gotcha game, Grand Blue Fantasy. Yeah, I try to avoid most gotcha games. <laughs> but I yeah, I know they're definitely very popular. Just a cat. All right, so I'm gonna getting close to the end of stream here. I'm gonna try out one thing. I'm gonna try running. There's like an ad option I was gonna try out. So sorry for any people that are still here. I was gonna try out running ads and then to have just some closing remarks with the stream. So I'm gonna try out this, see how it goes. Yes, I, I currently I currently live in Japan. <laughs> I 
Did it did it run an ad? <laughs> I don't know how it works exactly. It's the first time I tried pressing that button. <laughs> All right, is everyone back? Okay, yeah. I, I wanted to see what it did. <laughs> it, it kept on popping up, telling me to run ads. But yeah, I, I live in Japan, so I'll be playing on the Japanese servers with the release of the game, and I'll be kind of releasing information and guides based on the the game and the Japanese information. Akihabara? Akihabara is fun. I mean, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of, uh, I guess, you know, like game and anime and stuff, related stuff there. I think they were talking about looking into crossplay, but they hadn't fully decided it yet. So, and th th what I have right here is just the benchmark software, which anyone can use right now. So anyone can download it. And the characters you create here, you're able to export and then load into the network test, and then the Japanese final release of the game. The network test is end of this month, and then Japan's final release. We're going to get more details on after the network test. Hopefully soon. Hopefully it releases like April. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone's hoping for. A quick release and then everyone can have fun playing the game. The nice thing is they have... You have what five different five different classes, so once you get the max level in one class, you can just start leveling up other classes. <laughs> you always have something to do. And now he's can just hang out in the city as well. Yeah, hopefully it's not later in April. They they had planned for, you know, like early spring release for Japan, which sounds kinda like a March release. Maybe that's what they were playing for hope like initially. But that didn't turn out because of the the problems with the bug, but Maybe, like, after the network test ends, we'll have a third, uh, was it their developer stream after that will be sooner than later, and then they'll announce that the game's releasing soon. <laughs> I don't know, it's just all speculation right now. Just ho hopeful speculation. Yes, uh, what is it? And the uh, network test will be able to play the Heavy Smasher for the first time. Which I would assume for the global closed beta as well would be included. For the characters you made here, you'll be able to use, you can export them for the network test and the Japanese game release. I don't know if they'll be able to be used in the global version, if you'll be able to import the same data or not. Maybe you can. I don't know. Yeah, but I guess the nice thing about this software currently is this benchmark software is they put the character grade in and added a couple other features to Give us something to do while we wait. So now everyone can just like make as many possible character ideas as they can while waiting. And you can somewhat enjoy the world here. With these a couple different scenes you can jump to. For global, it was uh, second half of this year's what they had announced. For Japan, it was supposed to be early spring. But we're going to be learning more about it after the network test. So after the end of this month. Yeah, the global names kind of were strange for some things. Was it like Heavy Smasher got changed to Full Breaker? Maybe it's because I just got used to all the, the Japanese names. And was it Blade Warden for like the Aegis Fighter?
But in any case, I'm probably going to be bringing this stream to an end soon. Maybe I'll try doing another kind of like casual stream like this. Another time soon. So like people can just like ask their blue protocol questions. And we can look at more characters and whatnot. Oh, there's one character with a gas mask? No. Oh, that dude back there. Yeah, there is, isn't there? <laughs> Yeah, the full breaker looks fun, except for kind of the weapon looking weird. It's the one thing holding me <laughs> back from it. Yeah, it looks like they're allowing, I think, everyone to stream the network test and whatnot as well. So expect a lot of videos and streams of that to happen. I'll be streaming it as well and also posting videos. Well, trying to get as much content as I can based on how much free time I have available. But we should learn more about when the network test is going to be, uh, when it's going to be within like the next week or so, I would guess. Yeah, it would be nice to see a samurai. I, th I think, you know, like, like what was it they had in the, the weapon shop? They had uh, the spear and the guns, so I can inspect spear and guns. And then a samurai class seems like something that could be a possibility or like a ninja class or something like that. I'm not really sure. But I, I would expect they're going to be adding more classes later as well. Yeah, a lot of things right now is just kind of speculations in regards to release and like future classes. But we're definitely getting near near its release. <laughs> we're, we're approaching it. The network test is coming up and then we'll be in the home stretch. <laughs> Southeast Asia currently does not have a publisher. Yeah. There's going to be, yeah, was it console? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they said it's coming out on consoles as well. But most likely Japan's going to re be releasing before global. So probably Japan the first half of this year and then global is going to be the second half, if I had to guess. So I don't know if once Japan releases, will they allow anybody to play it or will you need VPN? I, I think the VPN for like the network test stuff kind of makes sense because they want to test it with people inside the country. So they don't want too many people from outside signing up and kind of ruining their test data. But maybe once the game fine releases, they won't really care as much about if you're outside the country or not. What will I play as when a game is out? I'm thinking Spellcaster right now. Maybe Spellcaster to start. But I'll, I'll end up playing, like, all the classes. And I might just kind of rotate through them. Like, every <laughs> every day play a different class or something is always a possibility, too. When I get tired of one or just want to, like, take a breather, I could switch to a different class and level it up. Is there a frame cap? I don't know if they have a... Frame cap, but they have like your average, like when you export the the benchmark results, they have like uh, your average frame rate. And I think mine was like 90 or something. So that's above 60. It was like 91 or something. So maybe it's not capped.
why would you create more than one character? I don't know, maybe like role playing or something if you wanted like different characters' appearances or something. I'll probably just end up having one main character though. Because <laughs> you can like play all the classes I want anyways. I don't know, maybe some people like having multiple characters for like that role playing or something like that. Oh yeah, just like having separate characters for each class, kind of have base your character's appearance on like a certain class identity or something. I could see people doing that. Yeah, but you only start with like two slots to start, and I don't even know if everyone will be using two slots. A lot of people might just have one character. But for people that want more, you'll be able to purchase more than two. I think it was like up to 10 or something. I forget the exact number, but I think it was around 10. Maybe that's like two for like each class or something, like one of each gender for each class or something. <laughs> For this game though, I think it was it like levels for each of the classes are separate. I think it's like similar to like Final Fantasy XIV. It's like when you switch to a switch your class, your level gets reset. But when you switch back, you you keep whatever level you had. So it's like each class has their own individual level. I don't know like how much of like the grind is going to be based on like leveling compared to trying to get like the best gear or something in the game. I feel like that's going to take longer trying to get like the best uh, random rolls for like weapon slots and whatnot. It's going to be probably the, the main end game. Getting the max slots and then like the max like ra or like the best like random Thing, attributes and whatnot. Is there a light attribute? What do they have? Yeah, there's a light attribute for, you mean like weapon, weapon attributes? It was like fire, was it like fire, earth, ice, lightning, light, and dark, was it? I think it was like six main ones. I think one thing about this game is, like, you probably won't need, like, the best weapon to be able to do, like, the content in the game. Probably, like, even just, like, just a basic weapon. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do everything. I don't think they're making it too hardcore. But yes, in any case, it is starting to get late here in Japan, so I need to get ready for bed. I'll try to have another, maybe like stream like this, kind of like a casual stream, just for chatting about the game and ask, answering questions and whatnot. Maybe like another date, maybe like next week, or maybe when we learn about the network tests, so we can talk about that as well. But yeah, definitely appreciate everyone tuning in, just kind of 
hanging out, <laughs> chatting here. Hope to see everyone in the game when it releases. Definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, so yeah, it's got it's gotten late here. I, the stream lasted longer than I was originally expecting. A lot more people showed up, which I'm thankful for. But anyways, I need to head off for tonight. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. And good night. Hope to see you again.